Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we completed Grunt's Rite of Passage. He is now a member of Clan Erdnot, and we couldn't be any prouder for our adopted son. Which means the only thing we have left to do is to focus on Morden and saving his old friend from the blood pack. Eyes straight ahead. Oh, they are, they are. Still looking for that Solarian? Or did you just come to waste my time? No, no, we didn't. We will be taking the truck now, if you please. And we'll be leaving Urs here, because he is a good boy and we don't want him to get hurt. Oh, again, I'm, I'm happy with this. Oh. Ooh. He, he can look real fancy now, but I like, I like his original outfit. T to be fair, I think I prefer everyone's original outfits. I think they look good. Ooh, okay. I, I could grab any of these, however... However, I kind of want to save the points. We've got a little bit of everything, and I think it would probably be good to save up to specialize into a few specific bullets. So yeah, I, I think I'm all good there. Oh, hello. Um, A brief but massive boost to your armor. Ooh. Oh, that is handy. You know what? Let's yeah, let's let's grab some of these. And what all oh, max level for incinerate. Okay, what do we have? Heavy incinerate. This advanced plasma round melts or burns nearly anything it hits. Okay. Incineration blast. This splash zone on the plasma round is increased, allowing you to scorch multiple targets. Ooh. Yeah, recharge time is the same. It's the... Okay, so... 170 versus 210. And 120 versus 3. Oh. I can't really do, like, with them, with their main specializations, like with Morden, you know, he is the Solarian genius. You know, I, I was kind of thinking, okay, well, what, what matches up with their personality the best? You don't really have that here. And I like both. I like doing a lot of damage. I like hitting multiple targets. I, I think I'd rather go for a lot of damage. Because here's the thing, what if, what if the enemies aren't clustered? What if the enemies aren't clustered? With this one, at least we know we're hitting something really badly. We've got a, a you know, guaranteed heavy hit here. Whereas with this one, we're having to hope that the enemies cluster. So you know what? We'll, we'll go with heavy incinerate. Okay, lovely jubbly. whose mission this actually is. Ah, I, okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with our loadout. Let's go. I don't like how open this is. Yeah, and I'm, I'm hearing gunshots already. That's, that's great. 
That's excellent. Yeah, okay, we've got to head over this way. No, of course. Of course I'm going to sweep for anyone. Hostiles. Oh, Jesus Christ, where? Hello? Oh, it's you again. It's you again. One of them, and oh, his slot is open. His slot is open. Um, okay, one of them. Oh, that. That was a good hit. Thought I was harmless, did you? Oh, you, Morden, Morden, you are not harmless. You are not harmless. I know it, you know it. And now the enemies know it. Nothing hidden over there. Okay. Okay, come on, people. Oh, gee. Hello. Hello. No, thank you. Oh, he pissed. He p No, it's the Farron. I like you. I like you. Why must you do this to me? Bad doggo. Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry. I didn't realise you were already dead. I thought you were biting me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Guys, where are y'all? Why are y'all all the way back there? Uh, guys? On it. Of course. Not a problem. D don't just leave me to it. You've got to come along now too. You're dead. Guys, hello. Excuse me, people. Right there. What laziness is this? Much offense. Oh, we Feel we can just let shepherd. Rage. Blood rage, my eye. Just being lazy in the back there. Oh, shepherd can deal with all of this. Excuse you. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hi. Hi. No, no, thank you. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Not difficult. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, they dead. They really dead. Okay, good stuff. Now, come on, people. We're all going together. You can't expect me to sort this out on my own. Is is your friend Morden? Malin is your friend, your ex-colleague. You can't expect me to do all the work. Okay, hello. <laughs> and you can piss off. Are you still up? Mm -mm. Oh, hello, hello. One of them. Just the thing to help. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Ooh, excuse you. No exploding. No exploding. There we go. They're down. I just keep keep moving forwards. Whilst keeping your eye out for loot, loot is always appreciated. Get ready to oh, fight. Excuse you. Excuse you. This burned nicely. And no, no, no. What oh, now? Not difficult. And you can piss off. There Nothing we go. can hurt me. Now that come on. Oh, don't mind if I do. I'm, I'm still so salty that I left all of those. I oh, hello. Uh, see, that's, that's very nice, Grunt. That's very nice. No, you don't. Please piss off. No Kairos allowed. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm still so salty about all of those. All of those med packs that I left behind. That that was like 200 credits, I swear. Oh, I 
hear you. I hear you being creepy. Oh, hello. No. No, you have fire, but we have fire also. And our fire makes you explode. Excuse you. There we go. Good night. Right. Now you're dead. Okay, no, that's that's not loot. That's just something shiny. Uh, uh, oh, ex Morden, he's so squishy. He's so squishy. Right, buddy, we'll we'll get you up in a minute. No, you don't. Oh, hello, hello. Combustion manifold, aha. It looks like there's just one. one. Okay, and yeah, okay. Are you all right, Morden? Are you all right? I'm sorry about that. We, we need to get him some better armor. We, we need to help him be less squish. Nothing, nothing hidden behind here now. Don't mind if I do. There we go for the mechanic, lovely jubbly. I'm so I'm so happy to be helping out Rex's clan. I think that's so cool. Okay, now Krogan's security hasn't seemed like the most secure. Yeah, this this was slightly trickier, but yeah, I I really think the Krogan need to update. Repurposed Krogan Hospital, sturdy, built to withstand punishment. Okay, but yeah, I I think the Krogan really need to upgrade their security. Oh, hello, hello. That body, human, need to take a look. Sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles, track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject, victim of experimentation. Oh. Yeah, any any sign of identification? Is he wearing a dog tag? Does he have his wallet on him? I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was. No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects, genetically diverse, enables exploration of treatment modalities. Hmm. Using humans is wrong. Using anyone is wrong. I mean, why not Varen? Well, Varen are animals. I mean, I mean, I mean. To be fair, we do test things on, um, you know, chimpanzees before. You know, setting up human trials. I mean, mm. maybe humans are easier to control than Varen. Varen have very sharp teeth. You know, a a, Var a Varen probably won't do much to a Krogan in a fight, but a human's going to do even less, especially if they're unarmed. I get. I guess maybe, maybe humans are more like chimps when compared to Krogan. You know, we're we're good for a base study before moving on to Krogan trials. Wouldn't something native to Tachanka work better? Varen, maybe. Yes, human experiments strictly high level concept testing. Native Tachanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. What did I say? What did I say? Humans are easier con easier to control if they're unarmed. You can't unarm a Varen. They'll always have their teeth and claws. Yeah, what what is the nature of these experiments? Well, I I would assume, you know, something to do with the genophage testing. Morden said, you know, oh, this would probably be conceptual. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? 
Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. I mean, it... Out, out of character. I, I, I get what this is saying, you know, it's... I, I get what Morden is getting at. This, this is bad. This is horrific. But I mean, they're targeting things that the genophage targets. You're not gonna like, oh, we're gonna target the heart. The genophage doesn't affect the heart. What is the purpose of this? Why would you do that? No, no, you're gonna go after the glands that the genophage affects. So, Naomi isn't a woman of science. Naomi isn't a woman of science. I think she'd just be horrified by this. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels. Could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Clever. This sounds bad. Do you think they're close to, to curing the genophage? Again, those two statements are not the same. Those two statements are not the same. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life, makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Mm. This using anyone would be wrong. Using anyone as a tough as a test subject would be wrong. Naomi and Naomi isn't a particular like, oh humans first, humans above all of a species. I I do this for the humans. She's like, I'm doing this for the galaxy, because we all live here. Like, let's not be dicks. So I just I I just don't see Naomi saying this. Here's the thing. And again, the, the line of, oh, this this sounds bad and it actually came out. Oh, do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Naomi doesn't think that that's a bad thing. Naomi thinks the genophage should be cured because what the genophage is doing is absolutely barbaric. It's not just making the Krogan less fertile. It's making them go through stillbirths. There is a huge difference between lowering Krogan fertility levels and forcing Krogans to experience stillbirths. Because that's what's actually happening. Morden likes to pretty it up and go, oh, we're just lowering fertility levels. We're just lowering fertility levels. Like, if, if it just made testicles and uteruses not work, like, if it just made, like, a specific percentage of Krogans have dodgy dicks, then, like, okay, that's fair. But it isn't. It's making people go through stillbirths. That is extremely traumatic. You can pretty it up in whatever way you want, but we know that they're going through stillbirths. Now, don't get me wrong, there, there is a problem with the Krogan. They breed so quick. There is an issue, and the Krogan weren't innocent in what they did. It wasn't like the Salarians and the Taurians got together and were like, Oh, this innocent little species, let's fuck with them for no reason. <laughs> like, they, they weren't cackling. Like, they weren't doing this to be dicks. The Krogan were invading a bunch of planets that were already home to various species. The, the Krogans were waging war on the galaxy, and they were winning. The Krogans were kicking everyone's asses. Like, the Krogans weren't innocent. The Krogans were dicks. But again, again, you're making an entire species suffer miscarriages. That's barbaric. That's wrong. 
Naomi believes that curing the genophage is the right thing to do. She doesn't know what the answer is to the Krogan problem. She acknowledges the Krogan have an issue, the Krogan did behave badly, I acknowledge all of this, however, I am not a scientist, I am not a philosopher, I am not this, that, and the other, I am a simple woman, and these people are going through miscarriage after miscarriage. That's psychological torture. The, and it's still ongoing. How many years has it been since the invention of the genophage, since its use? How many years? And it's still ongoing. They have been psychologically tortured for years. That is fucked up. I don't know how to fix this. I acknowledge there is a problem, but we can't resort to this level of barbarism, surely. And I'm stopping this in pl Oh, they're, they're trying to cure the genophage. Let's stop this. Like, let, let's just get this guy's friend. If, you know, he's been kidnapped, he's here against his will. Well, to, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, Morden is the one who's told us he's been kidnapped. But if, if we're going under that assumption, if he's been kidnapped, let's get him out of here. However, them stopping this research? I don't think that Naomi has an opinion on that. I, I think she'd be on like, oh, well, we should end the genophage. Them using, you know, slaves or kidnapping people to act as test subjects, that's wrong. That's wrong. I mean, for all we know, this guy could have volunteered. This human is its very unlikely given the fact that he was restrained, but this human could have volunteered for this. We don't know. If they're using volunteers, fine. Kidnapping people, nah, don't, don't be doing that. Naomi doesn't want to stop a cure to the genophage, so let's, let's just get your friend and leave. Come on, we still need to find Malin. Agreed. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. It was, it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time before the Krogan said, right, we've had enough of this. We're being psychologically tortured consistently and constantly. I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. I mean, you're letting us go. Why? To spread the message of our coming. You know, the idea is that we'll run away and be like, oh my god, Clan Warlock, they're so big and scary. Everyone should just bow down before them. Oh, like, that's, that's the idea of that. Look what I've done so far. Um, I don't think they really care. If they believe they're on the, on the verge of a cure for the genophage, then it doesn't matter. They can make new soldiers. They can make new kids. I'm drawn to this. I'm, I'm drawn to this. It's pretty obvious why they're letting us go. Or trying to let us go. They don't seem to care that we've killed a bunch of people, otherwise they wouldn't be letting us go. I, I want to know about Malin. I want to know about him. Because the whole reason, like I said, we're here because they've kidnapped him. How do we know he's been kidnapped? Morden told us. Did Malin get a message out to Morden? Did Malin, you know, send out an alert, hey, I've been kidnapped? Or did Morden just hear about it and go, oh, well, he must have been kidnapped? Yeah, I, I want to know more about Malin. You have a Salarian named Malin. I'm not leaving without him. The Salarian stays with us. His work is the tool of our conquest. Plan Warlock will cure the genophage and spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood. 
Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. Mm. They're, they're not going to back down. They're not going to back down because Malin is necessary. Malin is a scientist who has knowledge of the genophage. They're not going to back down, but again, I... Naomi, to some degree, would sympathize with these people. They're being tortured. Their species is being tortured for decades. They just want an end to the genophage. Yeah, they also then are like, oh yeah, and then we're going to go after the galaxy. No, that's bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's what got you in this situation in the first place. But their desire to cure the genophage, that's very sympathetic. They're not going to back down, but I think we at least have to try. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the genophage. No, human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wronged. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! See, that- you have not seen the piles of children that never lived. That would imply piles of babies. Yet the Krogan are egg layers. Because that, that is very vivid imagery. Piles of children that never lived. Again, piles of dead babies. Piles, not like a couple. Piles. Mounds of them. That is a horrific image. And when it's, oh, well, they're egg layers, so they were eggs. That suddenly becomes a whole lot less horrific. Imagine it, a mound of dead babies, a mound of eggs. Like, that. that is, I, I find that so weird. I, I did see two theories that would make the whole, like, oh, they're egg layers reveal in Mass Effect 3. I, I did see a couple of theories that would, um, that would make that work. So certain species of shark, they, they gestate eggs, but then the eggs hatch whilst the the shark babies are still in the mother so it's the, the sharks grow eggs but then they have a live birth that might explain it or considering the fact that krogan have two of everything female krogan could have two uteruses in which case one could be responsible for eggs and the other could be responsible for live births and in, in times of war, where you just need to pump out as many kids as possible, we use the egg uterus. So then we can just, you know, bum, 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 bunch of eggs. If some of them aren't fertilized, then like, it's I. But then in times where it's like, okay, now we, we need, we need to focus on, you know, growing children. Children are a precious, precious thing. And we, we need to make sure that we're trying to deliver them. You would use the, the live birth uterus. In which case you're only growing one, but it would probably have a, a much higher chance of, you know, being alive. I, I saw that as a theory. I quite like that. I quite like that as a theory. Um, why not try diplomacy? Because the Krogan are known for their, dip their diplomats. I, I... Again, we have to try. I, I don't think that Naomi has any fight with these guys. She doesn't have any qualms with them. She understands where they're coming from. A as he said, piles of dead kids, piles of dead babies, we've seen that. That's gonna fuck with a people's psyche. We just want that to stop and to get revenge on the galaxy, but... <laughs> she she understands with the, the former part of that statement. Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan Rebellions will become the Krogan Empire. The surviving races will frighten their children with tales of what the Blood Pack did to the Turians. The Asari will scream as their citadel plunges into the sun. We will keep Salarians as slaves and eat their eggs as a delicacy. If you lack the wisdom to flee, then you will be the first of billions to be crushed beneath our might. A warlock gold! Attack! We've been spotted. Ooh, that... 
that that was a really long opportunity to to use a renegade interrupt but again I, again what what he was saying like oh we'll use the you know we'll use the salarians as slaves and we'll eat their eggs the asari will do this the taurians will do this it was horrific but again if you're seeing piles of dead babies that's gonna warp your brain that's gonna make you think some really fucked up shit there goes my timer <laughs> it i i think she just felt badly for him he was saying some horrific stuff but he'll have seen some horrific stuff she, she just felt badly for him okay now you one of them I can't see. I I don't know if one of these is the speaker, but oh hello. There you are. Okay. Excuse me, please. Mm -mm. You know what? Get into cover. Get into cover. Ooh, Nelly. You did one of them. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Go, get into cover. Get into cover. That's a medical station. I. One of them. The boy is the reason tech. Excuse me. Now you can piss off. Where are y'all going? Where are y'all going? Oh, oh, Jesus. Hello. Okay, down you go. Mm -hmm. Come where I can see you. Come where I can see you, please. Thank you. Okay. One of them. Yeah, right on your ass. Nice. And get you, you piss off. Enjoy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Everyone is chill. God, it's that that is such a vivid image. You know, piles of dead children. That is you know, piles of children who never lived, I believe, was his exact statement, but... Oh. Oh, you've got to feel badly for the Krogan. Yes, they weren't innocent, but... That's going a bit too far. It's been how many years? It's been how many years since the Krogan Rebellion, and this is still happening? It... Damn. Damn. And I am going to bring this episode to a close right here. In the next one, we're going to track down Malin. And again, I would like it noted that the clan speaker didn't say, oh yeah, we're holding him here against his will. That They've been very light on that. The only person saying, oh yeah, he's there against his will, he's been kidnapped, is Morden. I, mm, it's It's raising some red flags for me. Either way, maybe we'll find out what Malin thinks in the next episode. So until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.